Good morning. Today we're going to be doing a review on this series called Them, the first season, which is currently on Amazon Prime. It came out about April 9, 2021. I got a chance to watch it about two weeks ago or so. Um, IMDb rates to 7.2 out of 10. Rotten Tomatoes rate is 65%. Um, Google uses that watch teach rated it about an 82%. I rate it about a 4 out of 5, which is about an 80%, which is a good rating. Uh, I'm going to give you, tell you why I didn't rate it a 4.5 or even a 5 um, towards the end of my review. The genre of this, of this um, series is drama, horror fiction, and anthology. The 10 episode series. The characters are Alison Peel, who acts as Elizabeth Wendell, Henry Emery, who acts as Bashi, Melody Hurd, who acts as Gracie Emery, the youngest daughter, um, Shahidi Joseph, who acts as Ruby Emery, um, Emery the oldest daughter, Deborah, Deborah Ayorinde, who acts as Livia, um, Livia Emery, or Lucky, who is Bashi's wife, Annika Nonin Rose, who acts as Ella and was really good seeing Annika um, on screen again. Um, Dirk Rogers acts as Miss Vera. Jeremiah Brickett acts as the tap dance man. Christopher Hyde acts as a man with a hat. And these people will play a very interesting role in this um, review. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you can watch it on Amazon Prime and it's currently still available. The plot is a black family moves from North Carolina to an all-white Los Angeles neighborhood in 1953 where they are, their home becomes a, a ground zero for malevolent forces, malevolent, malevolent forces. So that's what they have to say about that. Um, I think my, my plot would be a family moves from North Carolina to Compton, Los Angeles in 1953 after going through a traumatic experience in North Carolina and they move into a place where legally they are not allowed to be and they have to deal with the after aftermath and the after effect of being the only person of color in an all-white neighborhood and, uh, and with unfriendly neighbors as well as malevolent forces that they carried with from North Carolina to, to, them, to their new home as well as the traumas that they are dealing with from you know, microaggression in the workplace to trauma from working, um, being in the war and, you know, fighting a war and other kinds of traumas <clears throat> that, that existed. And the question is, would they be able to overcome these and, and still come out victorious? And that's what this whole thing, in my own honest opinion, um, is all about. So there are several themes that are explored in this series. Workplace discrimination is explored, trauma, personal, historical, religious trauma uh, and its impact on blacks even years after the occurrence. Um, what does it mean when you say you're moving up? Does it mean that you're moving from a black from amongst your people to, pe to uh, amongst people that really don't want you there? Is that what you consider as moving up? Um, rape, racial hatred on both sides, racial mistrust on both sides and housing is a major theme um, that is explored because it's even still an issue in 2021. Um, skin color hatred, what does it mean when you want to be white that you're willing to go bleach your skin or request that, uh, make that request. So um, medical mistrust, you know that the black community and the, and the hospitals, the healthcare system have often had a very fraught uh, misunderstanding, fraught history um, because of all the things that were happened with black people in the hands of uh, medical professionals who should have known better. Okay, and so there are so many things that were discussed um, and someone will probably have to break each one of them and pick it apart. Uh, I'm just giving an overview. Um, I enjoyed it, you know, um, the way it, it was for me watching it was very traumatic i couldn't watch everything in one go i had to break it up into several several days because it was a lot it was a lot you know and i don't recommend someone watching this whole thing at the same like in one in one go it it, it plays with your mind it's not it's not you know um but i had uh, several issues with it and that's the reason i didn't rate it a 4.5 uh, 4.5 out of 5 I was unclear as to what the writer of this series was trying to convey when he made uh, Mr. Emery insist 
on having his family move from a place where they were traumatized by Caucasians to a place where they were going to be living amongst Caucasians, basically an unfriendly neighborhood. Why would you make that choice? They didn't really explore the reason behind it, you know, and his awareness, you know, Mr. Emery's awareness that there were that there were some problems with black people living in the neighborhood and still choosing to put his family in that kind of position. It made me wonder what exactly was the writer trying to convey. OK, the second thing I didn't, you know, didn't like, you know, even though this historically has happened, you know, when you look at the history of black people in the United States was when Ruby and and um, and. The, the little daughter were made to go to school, an all-white school, and what they had to go through, you know, that is basically copy and paste from American history, you know, and even when I was told this, you know, this part of um, black history, I always wondered, why, you know, why would you do that to your child? What is like the trauma that comes from this experience? Yes, you're doing one for the culture, but what is the impact on my family? You know, I don't know. I don't get it. You know, and maybe that's why they are stronger because I would be like, you, 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 you go to an all white school, but it's time for you to go to university. So from this time to the university, we'll, we'll, we'll stay with our people. You'll learn about your people. So you're strong enough to deal with the impact of, of being with others, you know, in university, you know? Um, so that's one thing. Then another issue um, that was raised, and I, I, I actually had to bring bring this up, is is it trauma porn? Every year we get a series of movies and you know books that come out, um, you know, written by black people, featuring black people, and it always has the same idea: the idea of slavery, um, the idea of the transatlantic tr slave trade, you know, how bl white people treated black people, you know, and of course this is a fun stuff. So I often wonder, you know, particularly since this one highlights all these traumatic events it's like really highlighted and shown you know what is the purpose of this and when are we going to be allowed to heal you know um i think it's very important that we know our history as black people because they are very funny people out there so you need to know when they are pulling certain strings so you can stop them in their track uh, but when you decide to sit on the feet of history and refuse to move on I wonder whether that is that is a good thing um, for us as a people um, at the end of the day. Is this making us stronger or is it making us weaker? So this is just something to think about. You know, that's what, after watching this, I had to think about because I like to see, I want to see, have a smorgasbord of black experience, black people having joy, black people having happy marriages, black people singing and happy. And of course, black people going through traumatic experiences too as well. I just don't want everything about black people being about trauma. You know, so um, I had to be like, uh, you know, next, for those of you that have watched a lot of uh, black experience um, um, movies and series and read books about that, there are many similarities that can be drawn between this um, series and us, Lovecraft Country, country and Get Out. So when you watch it, you're going to see some of them is literally almost copy and pasting, you know, so you're going to see they're like, ah, you know, so maybe the author was inspired, the writer was inspired by these works of art. I don't know, but I was like, ah, good. So, um, another idea that was, that was explored. And I think it's something that we need to take with us, you know, as we, we as we close the chapter, as we, we close out this review is does something owned by people Caucasian people is that is that um, necessarily better you know for example this man he went and he decided he was going to work in a in a white only company you know was that the best move for him you know um them deciding after going through that trauma deciding I'm going to live in a white only neighborhood with unfriendly neighbors was that the best only thing for them? Is it because white is considered better, you know? And and when are we going to like wake up as black people and, and create something that is actually good enough, like that is actually competitive, you know, out there, you know? So those are questions that we, we need to ask as, as we watch this series. There are so many things I could talk about, but this is, I think, the longest review I have done. <laughs> um, so I hope that you get a chance to watch it. I give it again a four out of five. It's a very traumatic watch for me, but I will watch season two when it comes out because I would like to know um, how, what happens at the end of the day, whether they're going to explore another part of American history and maybe they'll put a little bit more joy into it. So till next time, take care and God bless. Ciao.